So the first thing we have to talk about when trying to first understand crypto and start investing in it and parking some money in it is what is cryptocurrency? So crypto is a type of digital currency. So think of it kind of like a digital version of the dollar. We're mainly thinking of Bitcoin, which is the primary currency. So we can think of Bitcoin as the US dollar, which is the most traded currency, okay? Crypto is basically a type of currency which is backed by digital encryption, right? Crypto's digital encryption is what allows the network to actually validate all of its transactions and to also regulate the transfer of funds on the platform okay and everything that's crypto operates independently from standard banks so central banks like the american banks and the world banks have no control over the crypto space okay even though there's more regulation which is kind of coming into effect now due to huge big events like the collapse of ftx which was a big crypto exchange obviously more regulation is coming but for the most part these huge financial institutions lack control over crypto which is why they also kind of fear it in a way and also this is why you will hear the terms like DeFi, which is decentralized finance thrown around a lot when it comes to the whole crypto space because it's basically decentralized from the major banks and investment companies so they have no control over how you store and trade your money on a crypto blockchain if some of these terms are kind of confusing we'll get onto the explanations and get deeper into it as we progress through this video so to understand crypto we have to get onto a brief history of crypto right how did crypto start and how did we get from then to the place that we are now so the first main cryptocurrency breakthrough was from the cryptocurrency that we know as the most popular one which is bitcoin right which hit the scene way back in 2008 and this was created by the creator or the group who was under the alias or the pseudonym of satoshi nakamoto who published a white paper called bitcoin a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system which basically boasted a new currency which eliminated the need for any kind of centralized banks or institutions and allowed freedom over the movement of one's money. And obviously later we had the other cryptocurrencies that you might know about. So we had obviously Litecoin, Ripple, and the second most popular, which we'll talk about in this guide, which is Ethereum. All of them having different feature sets, applications, and technologies behind them, which are why make each of them powerful and obviously why certain people choose to invest in each of them. 